this is Lexar Wilton with a how-to video on using the directional scanner, or D-scan for short. Uh, the purpose of the D-scan is to see what's in space around your ship, like other ships, uh, scan probes and player-owned structures, wrecks, just to name a few. Uh, this is a very helpful tool, especially if you are in a wormhole with uh, no local or out in low sec uh, to see what other ships are out in space that you may run into or to see if there's anybody in the wormhole with you that you can't see in local. Uh, to open your D-scan you go over here to the left of your cap window and hit the scanner button. Now there are three tabs up at the top. There is the system scanner which is for your onboard ship scanner and scan probes. Uh, I have a video explaining uh, how to use this tab. Uh, the second one is the directional scan tab, which is the one that you'll be using. And the third one is a moon analysis tab, which you won't really need uh, unless you open up a POS and go moon mining. Go ahead and click on the directional scan tab. And there are three things you want to pay attention to up at the top. There is a box you can check for use active overview settings. There is your range box where you fill in how far you want your directional scan to work. And then you have the angle. You can set the angle from 5 all the way to 360 to get a full 360 scan of what's around you. I have a box checked. Uh, for the overview settings because I want it to use the overview. I don't want everything to come up. I just want, want um, what I want to come up, basically. And that's ships, um, towers, wrecks, stuff like that. Um, whenever you first start out, you're going to want to zero out the range and then you put all nines in there until it starts buzzing at you. Now what that'll do, whenever you hit your scan, it'll automatically put it at two million, or billion, rather, sorry. And that's, um, that's approximately 14.3 AU. Uh, we kind of did the math on that and that's what it came up to. Uh, the next thing is your angle scan. This is the angle in which your camera is pointing, not your ship. And uh, you can actually use that as an offensive uh, tool. I'll explain that a little bit later in the video. But uh, just kind of get used to your overview. Um, like if you're in a wormhole and you're doing sights, you want to continue pushing this. Uh, you can push it like once every, I think, one and a half seconds without it... Um, bringing up that window, the scanner is recal recalibrating, please wait a second, To they added that to uh, prevent people from spamming it. But uh, in a wormhole it's definitely useful because it can tell you uh, if somebody's trying to scan you down with scan probes, and it'll also tell you if somebody's in the wormhole with you uh, that you may not want to tangle with, especially if you're in a mining barge. So... Uh, that's basically it on the defensive part. Um, make sure you have scan probes checked on your overview, uh, all the ships checked on your overview, maybe some pause towers. That's really all you need. Um, whenever you want to use it as an offensive tool, that's whenever the angle comes into play. Uh, basically what you do is you point your camera at the direction you want to scan and you just kind of angle it down to a 180 scan and as you can see here I'm basically just picking up control towers and stuff like that so I'm going to go over to another belt kind of point it at that and if you notice I'm kind of using my ship as a site because the center of your ship is going to be basically where the D scan is going to be pointing go ahead and on a 180 you hit it again, and we're picking up a Maelstrom and a Noctis. Uh, it looks like a mission site, so I'm going to see if I can find somebody mining in a belt somewhere. 
I'm gonna go ahead and hit there. Doesn't look like anybody's mining. I saw a Hulk on scan earlier. Ah, uh, here we go. Now once you find what you want, which is the Hulk, you go ahead and you angle it down to about 90. And if it's still there, you angle it down again to about 60. And as you can see, it starts cutting some stuff out because it's angling, it's uh, narrowing the cone at which you're scanning to about 60 degrees right now. Go ahead and bring it down to about 30 and then to 15. And once you get it on a five angle scan, you pretty much know it's dead center on where you're looking. So I'm going to go ahead and warp to this belt right here. And if you don't find what you're looking for, you just kind of keep moving your camera and hitting scan until you find what you're looking for. And then I'm going to point it back over here, and the Hulk's back on scan. You can hit it while you're warping to make sure that uh, whatever you're going for is still there. You notice how the tower disappeared, but the Hulk's still there because the belt's still in front of me. And there's the Hulk. Another helpful tip, as I'll show you here, you want to make sure the distance that has a little white arrow pointing up. Because what that'll do, whenever you're close to somebody, put on 360, the stuff that's in range will be down here at the bottom. The stuff that you're not really worried about. Scan probes like combat scanners and other ships that aren't in the area with you will show up as a distance with a little uh, little dash next to it. Now that'll show up at the top of your overview if you have the white arrow pointing up. Uh, that is very, very helpful. That way you don't have to look through everything to try to find those scan probes because it'll be right there at the top and it'll let you know, hey, there's something in here that's not on, uh, on site with you. Um, it's pretty simple to use, uh, so it's kind of a short and simple video. Um, thank you for watching, and if you have any questions, uh, you can PM me in-game. Thank you.